I'm your host of the most local 23. You're joining me for A Veil of Secrets, Chapter 16. All's well that ends well. So that's everything? What? Aren't multiple murders, a kidnapping, an illicit love child, and decades old conspiracy enough for you? Just want to make sure I haven't missed anything. After all, it's an awful lot to keep track of. You're telling me. Him stares at you long and hard. And he smiles. Well then, that's a wrap. Wait, seriously? Thank you for your help, John. Uh, no one else we spoke to had an, such a clear idea of the entire story. Your information has been valuable, invaluable in drafting my report on the case. Huh, really? What about Naomi? Deputy Cyril Hawks corroborated most of your information, but your off-the-books discoveries helped fill out the picture. Oh. Well, so what happens now? Well, once I file my official report, the case will be considered closed. All the reports support what you've told us about Duffy. The uh, case is open and shut. So I'm free to go. With the thanks of the FBI, without you, I don't know if we'd have worked out what happened here. Huh. You're not going to press charges against me? Why are you pushing it? Shut up! For breaking and entering and stealing evidence, I could, but given the specific circumstances and how much you've done in pursuit of justice, I'm willing to look the other way. In fact, I'd like to personally thank you. He stands, extending his hand. You take it and shake it. I've never seen a civilian work so... a case so effectively. What can I say? Reporters are just detectives, plus ink stains, right? In your case, I think that's true. And if you're ever looking for a change of pace, there's always a position open for you at the FBI. Oh, take it! Take it, take it, take it! Oh, uh, wow. I might just take you up on that. After all, I love chasing down a good story, but chasing down a criminal is even more satisfying. Him hands you his card. Thanks again, John, for me and, uh... I'd imagine the entire town of Birchport. You'll, you've done a hell of a job here. You're free to go. Ah, uh, free to go. Which means it's it's time to leave. Why are you frowning? Do you like being kept in this box? Do you want to stay in this box? We'll make you accomplice. We'll, we'll make you an accomplice or something. We'll make accommodations for you to stay in the box if you'd like to stay in it. Okay? Don't frown when they're saying you're free. Have you never been in jail? Oh god, it's gonna be her. <sighs> you head to the B&B &B to finish packing for your trip home. You're just about to head out of the room when Miss Harlena walks up from behind the counter. Oh good, I was afraid I might have missed you. What I meant to say is, I know I'll miss you. Ah, it was so nice having you, uh, such a handsome man around, made me feel young again. Uh-huh. Miss you too, Miss Harlena. I honestly don't know how I'd have gotten through all this without you. Uh-huh. Oh, that reminds me. Would you like an outfit? <laughs> she ducks behind the desk, reappearing with a brand new bloody goddamn outfit. I really should have expected this. No, I did. I wanted to give you this. Uh, consider it a souvenir of your time here. You're giving me a fucking souvenir and it costs money? <laughs> That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works, Pixelberry. You're an idiot. A sophisticatedly print with a relaxed, smoky knit. So basically, Mr. Rogers' outfit. R.I.P. You don't need to do that, Miss Harlena. But... It'll help you remember me once you're gone. Don't you want to spend the diamonds? They broke the mold on you, Miss Harlena. There's no way I could forget you. She smiles at you. So I suppose you'll be heading back to your life in New York now. I guess so. I never thought I'd say this, but I'll really miss Birchport. I know I wasn't here long, but I feel so connected to this place. Small towns do have their charm, but I'm sure you'll find plenty to do in the big city. What about you? What's next for the infamous Miss Harlena? Infamous? 
Hardly. Especially not now that I'll be settling down. Like, getting married? Uh, I doubt I will settle you down. If I'm being honest, I hope it doesn't. Think of all the things I'd miss out on, and all the people who is marrying you. I'm serious. I need to know this. Who's the lucky someone? Samantha Winters. Have you two met? You mean... Judge Winters? The very same. And let me tell you, she may be a mistress of the courtroom, but in the bedroom, she wants me to take the gavel and... No! Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm scrubbing it. Scrubbing it. No, no, okay. No need to go on. Uh, I get the picture, and I didn't want it. Are you sure? It's actually quite a complicated pose when you... Take another count. No! Nope. Nope. Totally good on those details. Thanks. Bye. And, uh, congratulations. I'm sure you two will be happy together. I know we will. Especially this pup. No! I should probably get going. I need to say a few farewells before I head out of town and run as quickly as possible out of here before you start in details more. Of course, dear. She pulls you into a warm, fragrant hug. When you pull away, you're surprised to see her eyes have gone misty. Don't be a stranger, okay? I I won't. And thanks again for everything. No, seriously, don't be a stranger. We need we need to meet in the bedroom. <laughs> she smiles and hurries off. You finish packing your things and head off to meet with Kate one last time. You catch a cab over to the marina when you pull up. Kate's waiting outside. She runs up and throws her arms around you the minute she spots you. Straight face. Straight face. John! It's, uh, so good to see you. I am ready to... for things to calm down. I was worried something happened to you. Again. After the way things have gone, I couldn't help imagining the worst. Fair, but... What's left that hasn't already happened? You dying, and I can imagine it? Especially with your mouth hanging open like that. Maybe deranged circus clowns drag me away to their compound in the night, intent on making me one of them? Oh, or we wake up to find out that our appliances have gained sentience and they're out for revenge. What would my coffee maker be out for revenge for? Seriously. Oh, I've got one. It's tax day. And I realize too late that the accountants are fully booked. Really? You're putting taxes above deranged clowns or killer ma like appliances? Don't underestimate how much I despise a red sheet. The two of you laugh as you slowly walk down the marina. The sky is a brilliant blue and the salt smell of the waves is bracing. Looking around, it's hard to believe anything bad ever happened, but you can't help but remember. How are you doing? Like, really? After everything you've been through? I'll let the question hang in the air. I mean, I've slept better. It's gonna sound awful, but it helps knowing that Duffy is, well, gone. Though there's a part of me that's still terrified that he survived, that, that he's out there somewhere. Don't worry, he's definitely not. We both saw what happened to that ship. You're right, and I know you're right. Or did you? Dun dun dun! Kate wraps her arms around herself, uh, shivering slightly, and forces a smile on her face. Honestly, though, I, I think I'll be okay. I'm ready to move on with my life. She bats her stomach fondly. And with this little life, I can't believe how excited I am to be a mom. I can't wait to see that kid you raised table dancing at preschool. She punches you playfully on the shoulder. Come on now, table dancing isn't something they teach until kindergarten at least. What about your Prince Charming? I'm... I was always after the fairy tale, wasn't I? Her gaze turns wistful and then she shakes her head. But not anymore. From here on out, I'm, I'm not waiting for someone else to make my life complete. I'm doing it on my own for me and my baby. I think that's great, Kate. 
I bet it will be uh, even better with a fairy tale. The parties will be way more fun, at least. None of that turn into a pumpkin at midnight crap for Mama. The two of you laugh, her hand drifts protectively back to her stomach. I hope you get to meet this little guy. I want you to be a part of our lives. Well, at the beginning of this book, I wanted you to be a love interest, and then Pixelberry took that away. I digress. I hate that we let ourselves drift apart, John. Hmm, me too. I never thought that would happen to us. People move in and out of our lives, I get that, but I always thought we were different. That we meant more to each other. We did. We do. I honestly don't know what happened. Life got in the way, I guess. The important part is that we're back in each other's lives now. In a serious way. Yeah. Next time we want to reconnect, I vote a tropical vacation instead. The two of you laugh. We won't let it happen again, right? I mean, drifting apart. Because having you back these last few weeks has meant the world to me. It even made me wonder whether... She turns to look at you, lips parted, as though she, there's something she wants to say. But Pixelberry will wipe it away. Oh, God, I rhymed. Wonder what, Kate? She shakes her head, cheeks flushing slightly. Nothing, it's nothing. I just, I want to make sure that from here on out, we are in each other's lives. I want to make it a priority. I want that, too. She smiles softly as the two of you continue down the docks, gazing out the, at the sparkling blue water lapping gently against the shore. After a few minutes, you turn to her. Let me guess, this is it. Time to say goodbye? No. Like a bye, this is, uh, see you soon. Kate reaches for your hand and gives it a squeeze. See you soon. I like that. You give her a big hug, and the two of you part ways. You stroll across town to the police station. The minute you step inside, you hear a whoop of pleasure. John, I was afraid I'd missed you. As if I'd leave town without saying goodbye to you. You hug when you pull away. You notice something different about the badge on Naomi's chest. Wait, are you the sheriff? Yes. Police chief? Affirmative. At least uh, for the time being. Officially, I'm just the intern chief, but the state brass hinted that it might be permanent. Wow, Naomi. Hey, good for you. First part is lucky to have you at the helm. Not to toot my own horn, but they are, aren't they? The two of you laugh. How are things going with the investigation? It's a massive undertaking. The FBI is investigating the Sterlings for smuggling, affiliation with the organized crime, and will take months to unravel. And Bryce? We've recovered his body yesterday. It was not good. Well, I guess at least we know what happened. What about the rest of the family? There's some distant cousins, but no locals left alive. As far as Birchport goes, the reign of the Sterlings is over. Good. By the way, we found this when we raided Jeff's apartment. Ooh, Duffy's diary. Is this... Jeff's diary, it chronicles everything he did. The kidnapping, murders, all of it. It would have put him... Made putting him uh, on trial a slam dunk. Not that we need it anymore. Bye, bye, Miss American Pie. So, what will you do now? Um, head back to New York, I suppose. Try to pick up where I left off, and turn in the story of a lifetime to your editor. Tattoo. <laughs> Naomi smiles at you, but it turns wistful. I'll miss you, John. Meeting you, well, it opened me up to people again. I didn't even realize how badly I needed that. And of course, there were other good parts, too. She takes her hand in hers, grinning slyly. I definitely like those parts. Thanks for that, John. For everything. Without you, I don't know where I'd be right now. You help me remember who I am and the right path to take. I'm the one who should be thanking you. You never gave up on the investigation. 
even when it seemed hopeless. Okay, we need to stop before I start bawling. Not the look I need in my first week as police chief is... F fair enough. You'll stay in touch, right? We're really not that far from New York. Absolutely. After all, I'm gonna need to find my next story of a lifetime somewhere. Give her a huge hug and head off to make her next goodbye. You make your way out of the downtown Birchport to the Emerson Mansion. Knock on the massive doors. One whips open almost immediately. I said delivery should be... Oh, John. I'm so glad you came by. Delivery for what, Grant? Tell me what it is. I need the next story. Really? Who did you think was at the door? I know this town is small, but people can't just randomly drop in that often. Fair enough. We're quaint, but not in the 1950s. As it happens, I was waiting for some important papers from the town council. The courier should have been here hours ago. Sorry to disappoint. On the contrary, you're the best surprise I've had in days. Come in. Sorry for the mess. You follow Grant inside. Every surface is covered with papers and fire folders. Even though it looks like there's a bunch of treats right there, but I know. Whoa. I'm guessing you're busy. That's putting it lightly. With the Starlings well out of the picture, the town is in desperate need of, need of leadership. Scarlet and I are trying to step up and fill the void. Wow, Grant. That sounds overwhelming. Are you worried you'll be spread too thin? Honestly, yes. But I love this town, and if I can do anything to help it heal after everything that's happened, uh, I will. Just make sure to slot in a couple hours for sleep on your calendar, okay? <laughs> sleep doesn't exist, John. Shut up. I'll do my best. Do you want a cup of coffee? I can uh, take a break for this for a few minutes. Coffee, he said it. Oh, that's good. That'd be nice. You sit down on the couch while Grant pours two steaming mugs of coffee. He comes over with him, settling in beside you. For the man who doesn't have time to sleep. Next best thing, especially with the jet fuel I brew. Mmm, me too. Take a sip of the rich, dark coffee. Grant clears his throat. I know you're leaving, but before you go, can I just thank you? I was wondering when that was going to come. For what? If anything, I should be thanking you. Kate would still be locked up if it weren't for you. Sorry. I'm not letting you be this modest this time. After all, I don't know when I'll have the chance to say this after today. You coming here was incredible. And not only because you helped unravel the mystery, you helped me break out of my shell. I've always kept on the straight and narrow paths, done things by the book, but this, uh, this whole time with you... It was the wildest few weeks of my life, honestly, and I wouldn't have traded it for anything. I couldn't agree more. On the coffee table, Grant's phone starts to buzz. He glances over at it and frowns, obviously anxious. I'm guessing that's important. I'll let you get back to it. Really should. But thanks for stopping by, John. Will I, uh, hear from you again? Absolutely. After all, it's not every day you form a Scooby-Doo team with a bunch of small-town strangers. Well, uh, sure hope not. The two of you hug and you head out, ready to say your last goodbye. Here. Wow, is that a dark sky now? Holy hell. That was kind of like yesterday when I was outside trying to get to where I needed to go, and yeah... Your cab drops you off at the docks at night. It starts to f fall. You stroll along the pier, relishing the briny sea breeze one last time. Before long, you're just outside the Flynn boathouse. Knock, knock. He pokes his head out of the hold. John! Come on in, man. I'm just finishing up a thing. Inside, it's as chaotic as Grant's was. Papers are all spread all over the coffee table, and Flynn has a laptop precariously perched on the arm of the couch. Uh, what's all this? Writing your memoirs? Solving your next case? 
Ah, uh, sure, why not? If you consider Flynn's next step in life a case we're solving. It's definitely shrouded in mystery. Um, then what is all this? You've clearly got something cooking. I promise you won't laugh, but I'm trying to apply for a job. That's fantastic. What's the job? An officer on Chief Hilverhawk, Silverhawk's force. Wait. He's applying for Chief? Are you... What? Wait, 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 what? I thought she was good. Come on. No way, you're switching sides. I've heard of going straight before, but this is pretty next level. I would have thought we'd uh, ever see that day, right? He shrugs, uh, smiling slightly. He's half embarrassed and half proud. Anyway, Naomi seemed to think I'd be good at it, and well, I, I think I'd be good at it too. Uh, working together to find Kate, it was amazing. It made me want to use what I know to some good for at least once. I think that's fantastic, Flynn. Yeah, well, maybe I'll, uh, I'll call you up if we ever get another case worthy of a write-up in a fancy New York newspaper. He gazes at you with a sad smile. Damn, I'm gonna really miss you, Joan. I'll miss you too, Flynn. But, uh, New York's not far away, and I'll definitely be back to visit. Sure, but it, it won't be the same. No, it won't. They won't force us to be love interests anymore, Flynn. I'll, we'll be long-distance forced love interests. <laughs> he shrugs, forcing on a wry smile. Not much is uh, going to be the same around here. Can you imagine me as an uncle? Absolutely. You're the one who convinces his niece or nephew to get in all kinds of trouble. I can't wait for that. He'll never know what hit her. Especially if her kid turns out to be anything like you. The two of you laugh and check the time on your phone and realize that you gonna need to go. I should get to the airport, but uh, thanks for everything, Flynn. Hey, thank you, John, uh, for these last few weeks. We're more important to me than you can ever imagine. You wrap him in a warm hug and then head back along the docks to the marina, where your cab is already waiting. Tears blur your vision. You point the cab to the B&B, &B where you pick up your things. You're just about to get back in when you stop. It hasn't been a month, but this place is really starting to feel like home. Am I ready to leave it all behind? The cab driver looks at you expectingly, but as you reach for the door, you hesitate and wonder. What do I really want? Ah, uh, who didn't see this one coming? This is your chance to determine the ultimate ending for John. Where will he end up? Ah, so we pick a... We pick a love interest and we stay with him. Hmm. Hmm. So speaking of which, real quick, guys. Um, in the comment section of the video, I want you guys to let me know. Uh, you know, especially if I ever do a Diamond Edition of this, which I'd like to. Um, what you guys would like, for one, would you like me to be a female love interest in the future? Or would you like me to stay male? And then also, um, who do you like the most? You like Naomi, Grant, Flynn? Eh? Go back to New York. My time here was unforgettable. But it's time to go home. You climb into the cab and point the driver towards the airport. You gaze out the window as you wind your way through the quaint streets at Birchport one last time. Soon the town has faded from view before, behind you. You think about your future. Getting back to New York. Getting back into journalism. Settling into your old groove. You're looking forward to it. To your future. And maybe even uh, follow Agent Kim up on his offer. But as Birchport vanishes behind you, you know that part of your heart will always 
be there. With Grant, Flynn, Naomi, and with Kate. Hopefully we'll visit sometime. A single tear streaks down your cheek, and you know you will never forget Birchborn. The end. R really? <laughs> I'm serious, really? We couldn't have gone back to New York? Oh, oh, oh. We're honored to have shared the town of Birchport and its lovable heroes and dastardly villains with you. We hope you enjoyed the story, and we'll stick around for more romance, more mystery, and more adventure. Thank you for playing the Veil of Secrets Pixel Barrier. Really, we needed an exit intro, or uh, outro, is that what they call it? An outro? No offense, Pixel Barrier. While I enjoyed it, imagine this. Imagine this. You had the perfect fucking thing there. You had the perfect, and I'm going to critic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep pounding this in, and so hopefully someone will share with Pixel Barrier. You had the perfect thing here, okay? You had kind of like a cult feeling. You had a chance. You literally could have taken Most Wanted 2, put it into Veil of Secrets, called it Most Wanted 2. You would have had two main characters that we all know, love, have a chemistry. We wanted them to go further. We could have played as both the male and the female. We had a team behind us. We had the storyline of John Tall, his cult. His daughter was just killed. You know, the whole nine yards. We had that. We could have come to Birchport. We could have had the same characters. Maybe we could have had some, you know, romance with Flynn, Grant, or Naomi. We could have had everything that happened. And in my mind, in my mind, I have wrote this off as Most Wanted 2. Because we'll never, let's be honest, we will never get a Most Wanted 2. I don't know why. It's something that has been the most demanded and asked for thing ever. And it's really sad. It's like the more we ask for it, the more you go away from it and you don't want to touch it. And I don't understand that. I honestly, as, as a writer, as a, as a person who uses my imagination, who cr does creative things, I myself can't understand why you have such an amazing thing here that you were screwing up. I don't, I don't understand it. And if it means you sit down with some outside people who have given you this feedback and said, hey, you know what, here's where you need to go. I don't know if maybe you guys, maybe someone who, who, who handles Most Wanted to needs to sit down and watch some Law and & Order and then some Law and & Order and SVU and some Criminal Minds and just go on a binge. Hey, you know what, if you, can't, if you don't want to afford the DVDs and everything, I'll hook you up with a link. You'll watch it all, give you a good week off, you know, to write the story. To, to generate some ideas, by God, contact me. I will help you. I'm irked by this. <laughs> just, why? Why can we not have a thing? Also, super short, by the way. We had a lo we had an hour and 15 minute normal edition of the Royal Romance, and then this is like 20 minutes. It's like, bye, guys. Fantastic. It was over and anticlimactic. Bye. I don't know. That being said, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head down to the description below. Links to social media, Discord, and a few links to support me and my content. Um, please do keep in mind, tonight we will be streaming. Not tonight. Just in a little bit. We're going to be streaming some Spider-Man, okay? I got to have my Spider-Man. Fantastic game. A lot of rave reviews. A ton of people are loving it. A ton of people have come to my Twitch stream are loving it. It's a lot of fun. We're returning to it very shortly. So, hey, if you're done with choices for the day, you're like, you know what? I got to see what the hype is all about. You don't even have to tune into video one. You didn't miss much, but a bunch of awesome shit, tutorials, learning the game, being awesome, dying too. Because we didn't go into the beginning difficulty. We went into the, to the middle where it was challenging, but also you're able to enjoy the story. As I feel right now, if it keeps going the way it is, one, I'm going to purchase the DLCs without even batting an eye. Two, I'm going to return back to the game after I beat it, which, by the way, has a minimum of 40 hours of content. I'm going to return to the game and go on the highest difficulty. I love a challenge. And so far, it's been fun and challenging to me. And that's two things. You got me. You got me. One, Spider-Man comics. I'm a huge fan. I'm, a, I'm nerdgasming onto that. And then two... Huge challenge, huge awesomeness. I just love it. I just fucking love it. I can't... Oh my god, I was like a giddy little kid last night. And I, I dreamt of Spider-Man last night. And then right now, I'm getting giddy thinking of going back. Okay? I'm getting giddy. I need my Spider-Man. <laughs> so without further ado, I hope you all did enjoy the video. 
thank you all for watching. Stay tuned to more of it. By the way, for those of you not into Spider-Man, there is other con or other content coming very soon. We got to work on some more um, Diamond Editions. Yes, we're still doing World of Warcraft. Um, yes, we're still gonna. I'm still gonna tap back into chapters. We won, baby. For all of you who didn't know, we got copy striked again, and I won, and I went on on legal grounds. Just to let you guys know, who stayed to the end of the videos, I never did a video about it. I never. It was like I was. I was like I was mad. Hat was on. So um, there's life is strange coming into this end of this month. There's the uh, episode two for The Walking Dead coming this month. There is Over Kills The Walking Dead, fabulous looking game that I'm hyped for. Um, and so many other things. And I even pre-ordered, yes, by the way, um, I was able to get into Fallout 76's beta. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna see. I don't want to be like one of those people that either overhypes things until after, you know, until, you know, or hypes things or doesn't. I want to give it a go. Join, you guys can join me on stream for that as well. We're gonna be doing that. We're going to see. We're going to see how good or bad that is. Just saying. But uh, with that being said, thank you all for watching. You're all, you know what we're saying? You're all fucking amazing. I love you. Mwah! And I will catch you guys in a little bit. Peace.